My Family and Other Animals by Gerald Durrell. This is the story of a boy whose family moves to Corfu and he lives on the Greek island and he deals with the people there and the wildlife and it's basically a big book of, of funny stories uh, that he encountered during the uh, interwar period in Greece. This book was written in the 1950s and it's obvious because of three things. One is the words that he uses. In any book today, you're not likely to find much usage of words like uh, haltingly, languidly, lugubriously, but he uses them multiple times throughout the book. A lot of stuffy adverbs like that that you just don't see as much anymore. They're kind of distracting as you go through it. So that's one thing that always jumps out to me is, is aging any sort of writing. The second thing is that there's no story structure to this book at all. The setup is this boy and his family moved to Greece and so here is a list of funny things that happened. No character changes from the beginning to the end of the novel. You could rearrange the order of events and it wouldn't make any difference. Also, I can't think of the last time that I read a novel where the main character is so unimportant and so passive. He doesn't seem to want anything throughout the course of the book. He's just observing the animals, observing the people, and the, and the stuff kind of happens to him and he explains it in his, his own style, which is very strange and it, it takes some getting used to. I wish I had known that going in because my, it would have adjusted my expectations a bit. So all that aside, I, I thought this book was a lot of fun just because the stories are so funny. I was laughing a lot throughout the book. The characters are, are brilliant as well. Like th there's a certain art to creating an interesting character in just a few lines and you can already picture that character and, and you get a sense of them. This author does it so masterfully, so effortlessly. It's, it's really something. I wanted to hear more about Spiro, the driver uh, that l kind of looks over the family. I wanted to hear more about each of his mentors that take charge of his schooling as, as the novel goes on. Uh, they're just funny characters. I, I, I love listening to them talk and, and the whole family. I just, the great setup of characters. I even went along with the animal parts of it, even though that's not my normal cup of tea. But he just does it so well. It, it works. All in all, I would give this book three stars. If you have any recommendations, leave them in the comments below.